What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing you another video and for today's video I want to go over some of my favorite modern final girls right now. Of course horror is banging, it is popping, horror is doing very well in cinema and just in general in terms of the movie market and girls are leading the way. Women are totally leading the way so like I said today we're going to talk about my favorite final girls or modern final girls going into the future. So these are the ladies like I said that are going to be carrying it on in the future from then on and I'm so happy and excited to chat these girls up because like I said they're these women are fantastic they do an amazing job in all the films that I've seen them and even if I don't like the movies their portrayals and their acting performances are off the charts so let's get down to this ranking roll it <laughs> modern girl to talk about is Catherine Newton. She's been in films like Lisa Frankenstein, Freaky, and Abigail. And this is a prime example of one that she has been in a film that I didn't like. I wasn't that big a fan of Freaky. I don't hate it or anything. I'm just not really big on the film. It was kind of more like a one-time kind of watched kind of movie. But Abigail, I absolutely love. And of course, Lisa Frankenstein is also right up my alley as well. So I think Catherine Newton is a fantastic actress. And when you see her in her role, specifically Abigail, she gets to do a lot of really cool fun stuff and in terms of Lisa Frankenstein it's much more campy kind of horror comedy and I like the way she's able to play that comedy and a lot of her roles I know her roles are the reason she's at number five is probably because her uh, roles are similar in all three films you know what I mean she hasn't really done any kind of showing off her variety or her range of what she can do as an actress but I like what she can do and the characters that she plays are really fun and really cool but I think Think she still has opportunities, like I said, in the future to florist with some other roles. Next up, we have another Abigail co-star of Catherine Newton, and that's Melissa Barrera. Melissa Barrera was in Abigail, but she was also in the most recent Scream films, and I'm just a huge supporter of her, and I think she's a fantastic actress, and I think she has a huge future ahead of her, so I'm very excited to see what she does down the line. It is very sad that what went down with the whole Scream thing, that she possibly won't be coming back for the next Scream, because I think her and her, char her sister's character, Jenna Ortega, which we might be seeing spoiler alert we might be sending Jenna Ortega on this list but I loved their characters and I thought I was comfortable with them scare carrying on the Scream franchise with these two new lead characters so I think Melissa Barrera definitely deserves the love and like I said I can't wait to see what she does in future projects now coming in third place we have Samara Weaving and Samara Weaving was in Ready or Not that was probably my first experience with her and then I caught her on this film that is on I believe a Netflix horror film is called Babysitter and then there's Babysitter Killer Queen and Samara Weaving is just fantastic she is an absolute gem she was also in Scream 6 so like that like I said she's just a gem she's one of those actresses that no matter what film she's in you sprinkle her in and she's gonna make it better and she's so fun my favorite role of her probably is probably either Babysitter or uh, Ready or Not those two are the ones that tussle with my favorite performance of by her and I think she plays very different characters very charismatic characters and very strong female lead characters and like I said Samara Weaving is a fantastic actress like I said that I think is gonna totally hold up the future of horror and that's what I love about horror films another reason why I gravitate towards them a lot is that these films have very strong female leads yes some of them they end up winning by accident or they get a lot of help but it doesn't really matter I love the fact that they put female protagonists specifically in a lot of horror films as the lead and they are the ones that go through you know the ringer and they end up on the other side as the winner so I really love that aspect coming in at number two the runner up to the top dog is going to be Jenna Ortega and like I said I love all these girls these are kind of just a ranking of you know based on the content they're in and based on kind of like you know some of them like I said you know with Catherine Newton I didn't like one of her films and I kind of feel like she's kind of played the same character in all three of her movies but I think she still has a very bright future and like I said there's different examples but Jenna Ortega's here right up here because I love her as Wednesday she did a fantastic job I can't wait to see Wednesday season two she was in Beetlejuice Beetlejuice which I think right now is probably my least favorite role of hers if I was to say in terms of my ranking and then she was also in Scream as well Scream 5 and 6 fantastic character for real like I said I was totally comfortable with her 
her and Melissa carrying on the franchise if they wanted to go to Scream 7 with just them two as the leads. So yeah, Jenna Ortega is one that is right up my alley too. And she did also this other movie, I can't remember the name of it, but this one about these teenagers that get locked up in this facility and it's like kind of this ethnic group teenagers that get locked up and stuff and they have to take care of these old people. That was another really good film as well. So Jenna Ortega is one of those ladies that is very comfortable dipping her toes into the horror genre and I hope she's here to stay. Next, we're here to the crown jewel, my top scream queen, modern scream queen, and of course, this is no secret, I talk her up on just about every chance I get to, and that's Mia Goth, and just to show off my love for her and like how much I adore her, I have almost... Almost a lot of her film catalog. I have Infinity Pool right here, which is probably one of her strangest and out there roles. Shout out to Brendan Cronenberg for casting her in this movie, giving her a chance to really show us this crazy side of her. Then I have X, of course. You know, I have the whole X trilogy on physical media. We have Pearl right here, which acting wise might be her best performance. I would say, movie, out of all the movies we're going to talk about, Pearl is probably my favorite performance of her, and I think Mia Goth is just stand out, flat out the best actress, and in terms of the different catalog she has, she plays a lot of different characters. Here's Maxine, Maxine Minx, she plays again, so she's played a variety of different characters and has a wide range, and I think... Definitely, in terms of my opinion, her filmography, she is clearly the best actress out of all of these girls. And A Cure for Wellness right here is absolutely the first time I've seen her, and I fell in love with her as an actress. And I was like, oh, for real, Mia Goth needs to do more. I heard she's going to be in the Frankenstein remake that's coming out of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. So you can better believe that I'm going to be adding that to the collection as well, because I'm just fascinated with her film catalog. I like the characters she picks. Like I said, I like the variety of roles she picks, and I think she's beautiful and for real Mia Goth she has a crazy scream and like has like said wide range of skills and I hope to God that she sticks with horror because like I said fascinating it seems like she's going to because she's doing Frankenstein and I think there's another movie she's slated to do I can't remember but I know for sure she's supposed to be in Frankenstein so I hope she sticks around in the horror genre but thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. This is just my list and my ranking of modern Scream Queens. I would love to hear from all of you down below in the comment section. Shout out some of your favorite modern Scream Queens that you think are going to be carrying on the future of the horror genre. I would love to discuss with you down below, but please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I drop a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.